how is everyone doing on this Monday? I hope everyone had a great Christmas. Um, I wanted to take a few days off of the platform to uh, celebrate Christmas with my family. So I'm back at it. And I want to talk about this news story. This has been going all over uh, the wrestling dirt sheets today. And I wanted to give you my two cents on this. So um, WWE has uh, several talent and staff currently out of commission. Of course, the big thing last night was that Seth Rollins, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, uh, they all tested positive for COVID-19. They had to uh, reshuffle the WWE uh, show at Madison Square Garden last night. And WWE has now informed their roster that they do not need to worry about testing for the virus anymore. Uh, Fightful Select reported that WWE has informed that stars that weekly testing for COVID is not mandatory. Uh, WWE NXT talent previously had to test twice a week for the highly contagious uh, virus. And this was actually reported by... Uh, it was... An app that the WWE has, um, they did update this article that I am reading that this was a message that was sent out to talent, and it was not an email. If you're reading this um, throughout the whole um, dirt sheet community, and actually with this report that I want to get back into, that some people within the company were not happy about this ruling from WWE. Uh, they reached out to the outlet and expressed their concern over the situation. At this point, um, like I said, we do have some wrestlers that tested positive for the COVID-19. Um, and it's also being reported that some NXT wrestlers uh, did contract the virus as well. And... There is a fear that an outbreak might continue. And we all know the situation that is happening in the world right now with the Omicron variant uh, being the most dominant strain out there right now. And um, the thing about this is, is simply is that I'm not surprised by this because if you're seeing what's happening in the sports world right now, uh, the NFL and the NBA... Uh, they're doing similar things, if not more aggressive measures. And uh, the NFL, they've changed protocol to where a player who is positive but got the vaccine or the booster is asymptomatic can still play as long as their vital load uh, it goes, it falls below a certain level. I do know, like, um, if you do test positive and then all of a sudden you have like two negative tests, uh, you can be active. I know um, uh, on my side of the uh, spectrum when it comes to sports, uh, it was actually reported today that Jason Tatum uh, from the Boston Celtics is now in COVID protocol. Also on the Patriots side of things, you know, Matthew Judon, uh, he just tested positive so, the idea being that, with this being Omicron cases, if you do have a vaccine, and you are boosted, and you show little symptoms, and you're not contagious, um, you're going to be out for a short period of times. But, players, and let's just say wrestlers in this case, they're being forced to sit out anyway, because... They have tested positive for this. And the NFL Players Association has stated uh, specifically that uh, this is uh, deterring unvaccinated players uh, from getting the vaccine. Because to them, it's almost like it wouldn't matter either way. And so, um, do I think this is still going to be a bad situation for the WWE? Of course it is. Because... With these cases coming in, you know, cases coming in at a sky, sky high, you know, right now we're in the winter. The winter is supposed to be the worst when it comes um, with this Omicron variant. And 
we know that we just, you know, are uh, ending Christmas. Uh, we're going into New Year's week. And it, that's going to be another worst case scenario. It's going to be after the Christmas and New Year's. More of these cases are going to go up. And, you know, we do fear that we're going to be seeing some shutdowns. I know in countries, you know, they have been shutting down. There are major restrictions right now. So, uh, we'll see what happens in these uh, weeks to follow, so to say. So, um, that's going to be it for uh, my wrestling talk. I think I'm going to come back on here tonight, uh, talk about Monday Night Raw. I don't know if I'm going to do a rant video, but... Um, if the show is bad tonight, um, we all know with all of the rewrites that is going to be happening because of this whole Omicron, uh, I'm going to get into it. So until then, please subscribe to the channel. I am out. Peace.